this is Colin Raffle from Experimentalist Anonymous, and this is the Frankenbox. I'm just going to go over what it is so that um, it's easier to understand what's going on. Um, yeah, so what it is basically is five signal sources being fed into a voltage-controlled amplifier, which is then fed into a voltage-controlled filter. There's an LFO and a sequencer for control, as well as a joystick, which intermodulates the two oscillators. One oscillator has a photo cell and an accompanying gooseneck LED, and the other um, can be controlled by the sequencer and the LFO. Uh, there are two different audio inputs. Right now I have a guitar plugged into it, and there's also a microphone back here. Um, back here is the power goes in, 9 volts. Just use a DC adapter like you'd use with the stomp box. Here are the two inputs, and the outputs with output level knobs. So, I guess, to start off, Turn everything down. So there are five signal sources. I'll demonstrate first uh, the os the first oscillator, oscillator number one, I guess is what I call it. Um, the four main knobs for oscillator number one are over here, um, right here. This one's frequency. That's LFO depth, sequence depth and uh, gain. The way the oscillators are built, they output triangle waves which are then sent into really, really nasty, dirty amplifiers that um, instead of just outputting like a boring square wave, they put out these really nasty, um, kind of distorted signals. So let's see. oscillator. I can change the frequency here. Change the gain. You can hear it kind of turns into this awful sound. Um, the oscillator, each signal source has a uh, knob here to control how loud it is. The knob for oscillator number one is right here. So we can turn it up or turn it down. Bring it in and out. That's then sent into the voltage-controlled amplifier, which whose knobs are right here. Um, the voltage-controlled amplifier has five controls. One is gain, and you can hear the amplifier start to clip as I turn that. The next one is what I call the misbias knob. This you can kind of think of twisting the amplifier's arm. It really doesn't like it. It's kind of like a circuit bend. You can hear that eventually it cuts out. This next one here is um, a mix knob for the oscillator number one for ring modulation, but we'll get to that later. This one's for LFO depth. This LED here shows that the LFO blinking, and you can hear the um, amplifier turned on and off, or get louder and quieter. This knob is the output level of the voltage controlled amplifier. What it does is it determines how loud of a signal goes into the filter. The filter um, is a resonant low pass filter and it clips very easily. This knob here is for resonance and this is frequency, so. Let's turn the LFO back down so we can just get a clean signal. Now, if you listen, really start to hear it get nasty. Um, if you want to hear it kind of oscillate by itself. Now that's just the filter oscillating. It's a self-oscillating filter once you turn the resonance up. And you can hear that as we start to um, input more and more into the filter, the resonance or the oscillations get cut out because the signal is so loud. Now, using looking at oscillator one again, frequency here, gain here, we also have two knobs to control the frequency. This one here is for LFO depth. I'm sorry. This one's for LFO depth. You watch the LFO blink, 
This controls the depth. There are two controls up here for the LFO. One of them is frequency. You can see me changing the frequency here. This one here is for the wave shape. You can go from a triangle wave slowly to a square wave. And now, so that's what the LFO is going to do to our oscillator. It also has a control for how much you want the sequencer to control the frequency. The sequencer has actually nine controls and a bunch of LEDs. If we go over here, this knob here controls the sequencer rate. Get nice robot sounds. And these eight knobs here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, control the sequencer's different steps. So you can decide how, what frequency you want at, at various steps. So, and it sequences like this direction. So just remember that it goes kind of backwards. And you can hear I can change the pattern by messing with these knobs. Change the frequency. Now these LEDs down here show the sequencer running. These, as you can see, an LED change. The LED changes after two steps. So you go. There's two steps, and then the LED changes. I put them over here so they wouldn't mess with the photo cell over here. You're making a really fast. One thing that I did with this box is I made it so that there weren't really any limits for the knobs. Most of the time someone would have limited this so that it wouldn't be able to go this fast. Because as, if you watch, watch the LEDs. Once you go so fast, it can't keep up anymore and it just kind of goes crazy. Um, this is the kind of thing people try to keep out of devices because uh, they think of it as a bug, but I guess in this case it just creates more, even more interesting sounds, so I left it in.